Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, hi, I'm Casey. So today we will be making peppermint horse treats for your horse, obviously, because I just said they were horse treats. I just thought it would have been a good video to make for Vlogmas and Vlogmas Day 2, so then you can have treats throughout the month of December. Tomorrow I will be going to a horse show, so hopefully I can give some horses some of these treats. Before we get into the video, if you really like my content, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell to be notified when my next video comes out. As well, follow me on Instagram and I'm so close to 10,000 on TikTok. So if you can go follow me there, that'd be amazing. Let's not wait any further. Let's get into making the treats. Chilling and having a good, good time Now that I have told you everything that we need, go out and get them, pause this video, go out and get them. If you have everything that I just mentioned, let's get on with the video. If you have all your ingredients, this should be the easy part. You wanna put your wets with the wets and the dry with the dries. I have a KitchenAid. <laughs> and so we put all the tools in the KitchenAid. We don't use it like that often, but I'm gonna just Put them over here for now. <laughs> what I'm gonna do is put all the wet ingredients in here and have the mixer mix it for me while I'll put all the dry stuff in a different bowl and I'll mix that myself. Got some right here. And that way it'll help the molasses come out a lot smoother. The wet ingredients is molasses. That is a wet ingredient. You need one cup of molasses. There, okay. <laughs> think it was gonna string like that. Okay. Ooh. Oh, I did not like the smell of that. <laughs> but I guess horses do. Need one cup of this. Alrighty. Oh, honestly, that's like perfect. I don't think there's like much left in here. And so this was like pretty much right over a cup. So let's pour that in. I probably should have done the other stuff first, but it's okay. I'll just scoop it out. <laughs> All right, the next thing I need that is a wet ingredient is applesauce. And we need a cup of that. Just in case I didn't mention it before, but I got the unsweetened applesauce because everything else in this recipe is sweet. So I was like, let's make something less sweet and it also didn't specify i'm just like ah, i'm sure the horses would like it one cup of applesauce all righty add that to the bowl now everything's so messy maybe i might do this rinse it out first kind of wet no but it's okay the next thing we are going to need carrots and that's the oven going off telling me that the oven is preheated. We need a cup of carrots. You can do these chopped. I just kind of got the pre-shredded bags cause I'm like, whatever. That's more than a cup, but once again, it's okay. I'm one of those people that kind of likes to clean. Wow, all right, likes to clean. So like my space just isn't messy. As of right now, we got the molasses, the applesauce and the carrots. And I guess, Brown sugar is a wet ingredient. I didn't know that, but that is what the recipe says. Why is everything so hard to open? 
Maybe it's because my hands are slippery. Where's the scissors? Cool. Perfect. Half a cup of brown sugar. And the one thing I didn't know about brown sugar is one cup is when you like push it in. So like that isn't one cup. I have to like press it in. If that's wrong, then I was told lies. Oh my God. I probably should have scooped this. As you can tell, I'm not a baker, but whatever. Whatever, whatever. I do what I want. That's what it's, before I pour it out, that's what it's looking like right now. <laughs> and we're gonna go ahead and put it on the mixer. Putting this on the mixer. There we go. Make sure it's like tight. <laughs> put this down. There we go. And we're gonna stir that up. We're gonna let it do its thing and we're gonna put the dry ingredients in a whole separate bowl. First ingredient we are gonna put in the bowl is bran. You need three cups of bran. I feel like that's mixed enough. I didn't even start doing the... Oh my God, wrong way. Maybe I should do a thing, cooking with Casey. Okay, so we need three cups of bran. I hope I have enough. I feel like I won't have enough, but we will see. So that's one cup, two cups, three cups. What a little leftover. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. Maybe I'll make extra. Another ingredient that you can add to this is sweet feed. If you give your horse feet, sweet feed, oh my God. But um, I don't give my horse sweet feed, nor do I have feed at my house right now. So, and that ingredient is optional. Really any grain, if you wanna add grain, add it to it. I don't have grain with me right now, so we're not gonna add grain. The next ingredient I need is some oats. I'm gonna use the rest that I have in here and then I have another bag to use. Oh, wait, maybe. No, that wasn't enough. We need more oats. <laughs> fitch, 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 fitch. One cup of oats. Shazam. We need one cup of flax seeds. Okay, one cup of this. I'm not sure if you need to get them grounded or not. I have it grounded. I didn't think it made a difference. You need half a cup of all-purpose flour. Half a cup. The last thing you need is a tablespoon of salt. Just take this off. I feel like a tablespoon's a lot. It says one tablespoon of salt. I guess horses are big. <laughs> and if it works just the way like those Himalayan salt licks do, like it helps them drink water more. Now that all the dry ingredients are in the bowl, we're gonna mix it. All right, let's get to mixing. Wow, this is gonna make a lot of treats. I very much underestimated how many treats I'm gonna have. All righty daddy. I think that is mixed enough. I'm gonna give the wet stuff a little bit of a mix before take like adding them. Cool, cool, cool. Oh my God. Why did I do that again? It looked like that. Don't want to spill it, but we are going to mix it in with the dry. I get everything out. I'm not going to lie. This smells really good. It smells sweet, really, but doesn't mean sweet can't smell good. Now we are going to mix this together. The goal is to get a clumpy consistency. As you can see, it's starting to clump up. It's not all the way mixed together yet. I'm tired. <laughs> It's a lot of arm strength. This is what we are working with. It should, like I said, clump up like that. All right, I'm contemplating if I should go for like the bigger ones or the smaller ones, but you need muffin pans, muffin tins. I'm not really sure why, because I don't know the science of baking, but you want to leave your pans ungreased. Just start spooning your mixture into the tins. I'm gonna start with the smaller ones just so we can get more treats out of it. Maybe I'll use a different spoon, like something that actually scoops. I'm gonna use my hand, it's all right, it's okay. You wanna just spoon it in there and these treats won't rise, so you can fill them to the top and it'll be okay. So we got um, the small one filled all the way. This one we've got filled a little bit over halfway. And 
It is peppermint and is what makes it a peppermint treat. I went with the pepper, the peppermint puffs. I think they're supposed to like melt a little bit more or better. These came wrapped, so I'm gonna unwrap them and put them in the tin. This is what they're looking like right now. Here's the smaller ones. Here's the bigger ones. I have a lot of peppermints left over. I have a couple of everything left over, so maybe I'll make some more treats later. Look at me not reading all the way through. So apparently with the recipe, you're supposed to indent the mixture with the peppermints that you were using and then you're gonna bake it for 50 minutes and then when you pull it out, you are going to put the peppermints in and then put it back in the oven for 50 minutes and the reason you do that is because this is like low-key sugar. <laughs> It's just gonna melt and leave everything hollow. There's not gonna be a peppermint there. You just wanna do the indent and then put it in the oven. So I'm gonna have to take all of these, all of these peppermints out and then I will put them back in after they are done baking for the first 50 minutes. Okay, now that I took the peppermints all out, we are gonna put this in for 50 minutes. While you wait, I am going to clean up. That way you don't have to do it later. I'm not gonna let you guys stick around for the cleaning part, it's the boring part, so I will be back when the 50 minutes is up. Alrighty, so it is done. I'm gonna take them out the oven. So here are the smaller ones, here are the bigger ones. Like I said before, I put them in be a little too soon, but I have some of the peppermints in here and so we're just gonna stick them all in and put them right back into the oven. Alrighty, so the alarm just went off. They have been in there for a little over 10 minutes, so I'm gonna go and take them out now. I mean, it's like they probably could have went in a little bit longer to let the the peppermints melt more. I just don't want them to like come loose. That, that's all that matters. But I also didn't want, it kind of started to get a little too dark on the edges for me. Okay, so I will be letting them cool. Um, it says not to take them out of the tin, like let them cool for 10 minutes before like pulling them out completely. Um, I'm kind of running late for something. So I'm gonna let them cool and let them do their thing. I have to run to a birthday party real quick and then come back and I will be finishing this video. Okay guys, as you can see, it has been a couple of hours. The treats have most definitely cooled down. They're a little like dark on the side, so I'm hoping they're not like too burnt. Come on. I don't want them to like fall apart. I'm sure the horses will still like it, but they did not come out nice. This is what they are looking like. So, I have a special guest. It's my mama. Oh, oh my God, it's Ma. Hello. <laughs> She's a little camera shy, obviously. <laughs> But I am not camera shy. All right. What are we doing here? So I burnt them and I would like to redo it, <laughs> but maybe bring in a baking expert since you have all the years of nurture, nurture, nurturement to me, nurture, nurture, you know, the word nourishment. <laughs> and so what do you think I did wrong? You just think it, I was in the oven too long or? Did you, like, um, the, the instruction said, don't grease it. So I did it. No, you didn't grease it. Yeah. And so I was like, okay, I, I guess like, cause like there's molasses did you in check it. check it like prior to say, if it said 20 minutes, did you check it at 15 minutes? So how long were you supposed to bake these? 50. 50. So did you check it at like, you know, periodically just to see where they were as far as cooking? So maybe I would have done that because you might have noticed that they had probably cooked before the 50 minutes. Right. 
Would you say grease the pan? Like what would be the difference of greasing it and not greasing it? Well, the date. Well, the pan, the greasing of the I have pan. To... <laughs> oh, well, then, yeah, yeah, I would grease the pan with something. Okay. There you go. Do you want to help so, me bake them, or are you leaving me? I think I'm going to leave you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, if the house burns down, it's not my fault. I just cleaned the pan. Let's get back to baking. Come on. We're gonna dance. Santa's gonna come and join us in this song oh, yeah. With what I had left of the ingredients, this is how much I had left. Um, let's see if the tips that my mom gave me will work on these. <laughs> Looks like that right now. Should still be a little soft, but indent, indent. Set a timer for 10 minutes. 10 minutes, starting now. The 10 minutes pass by. Put these out, I'm gonna take the muffins out. They currently look like this. I'm gonna go ahead and put some peppermints in. Let's put it back in. So we're about a minute out from when I was supposed to take out the treats, but we're gonna take them out now because I looked at the peppermints and they're kind of starting to melt a little too much for my aesthetic, I guess, that I'm trying to go for. <laughs> Alrighty, this is what they are looking like right now. I will follow the instructions on the directions, the recipe that I had, and I'm gonna let them sit. It said for at least 10 minutes, let them cool down a little bit. I think it's to like kind of keep the firmness of it. And then I will take them out to cool even further. It has been 10 minutes. I am gonna try and take these treats out without, oh, easy. The, now, now these look better. They look better. So let's take the rest of them out. Last one. See, that was so easy. Sam, we're gonna put this in the sink for now. Here's the final badge. This is what we got. Now these, these look and smell good. <laughs> oh, I tweaked the recipe a little bit. I put it in for 25 minutes, then I took them out for a second, put them back in for 10 minutes, and then I took them out. So that's about, they were in for like 40 minutes, 35, 40 minutes, and not the 50 minutes that they said. We're gonna dance. We're gonna dance, dance, dance. There you go. We're gonna dance, dance, dance. Have a good time. Dance, dance, dance. All night long. We're gonna dance, dance, dance. And have a good time. I think Santa's gonna come and join us in this song. This is it. I really hope you enjoy and if you make these for your horse, let me know and share a video. That would be so awesome to see that you made these treats for your horses. That is it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed. Please hit the subscribe button if you like this video and hit that notification bell if you want to be notified when my next video comes out. If you can go follow me on Instagram and TikTok, that would be amazing. On TikTok, I am almost at 10,000 followers. That is right now my little mini goal so if we can get to that before new year's that would be amazing so please go follow that is it for my second vlogmas video remember this is vlogmas so i will be posting every monday and friday until december 25th like i said before hit that notification bell so you know when my next video comes out for now i'll see you in my next video bye We'll be chilling and having a good, good time.